guys, so today, <coughs> um, because I had my nose pierced, um, a week ago yesterday I had my nose pierced, and um, I wanted to like do a video about how I clean it, um, and I'm also going to be doing another video for my main channel about um, like my experience and um, everything, and like more about how I look after it. <coughs> so um, yeah. So basically, to clean my nose, what I do is put some water in the kettle and just boil the kettle and then I put about two to three inches of water in the cup, um, still like steaming a little bit, <laughs> and this is the current cup that I'm using. And then also I, I have to um, put mix some hot water, no not mix some hot water, mix some salt into it and the current salt that we have. Um, like I'm not using any specific salt, it's just one that we had around the house. It's the Saxa Course Sea Salt. So I just kind of like sprinkle some of that in and then I might actually just chuck a load of that in now while I'm talking to you guys. And like it sort of just sort of melts in and then like just mix it around a little bit as well. <coughs> um and then also when I had my tragus done, um it's not on at the moment, like right now because like, I messed up. But um how much have you done? December 2014 and um, I got given this salt stuff with like some other things and um, so I just sort of like mix some of this in with it like I don't know I just thought it might be good if I did might be a bit more like productive is that, like is that the right word? I don't know and then I just like go and mix that together I just use like a little teaspoon um with the Saxa Sea salt, I'll probably use like about two teaspoons. I sometimes use more than two teaspoons. I don't really measure it out, but I'm sort of guessing that I roughly use about two teaspoons, maybe more sometimes. Um, and then with this salt that I got given when I have my sugar sun, I put about two pinches of that in, um, and then I just mix it all together and it sort of melts into the water, then you have like salt water. <laughs> so basically, the, when I had my nose pierced, it was like, I just mix it with like hot salt water, clean it with hot salt, salt, hot salt water, and I got given like a little form that said to clean it um, two to three times a day. And so yeah, that's what I've been doing, just cleaning it two to three times a day. I usually clean it about twice, sometimes three times. Sometimes I'm like bad and clean it once, but yeah. But then I just get a cotton bud from here, and then just mix one end of it into the water and then what I do is just push it up from the back and then clean around the edge like this I don't know if you guys can really see that well um, yeah just clean around the edge of it I'll try and go closer to this just like push up like that and then just clean around the edge and um, I think it's more effective if you like push it up and then clean it rather than just like having it down like that um so yeah when I first had it done for the first couple of days it was like a bit bloody and I had a little bit of blood on the edge and um and all that but <coughs> as time's gone on and the um as time's gone on the week that I've had it done it's not so bloody <coughs> like I don't think it even like bleeds anymore to be honest um but yeah so let's get the other side of the cotton bud and then go on the inside. Um, this might look weird to some of you guys, but basically you have to stick your up your nose to clean the other side. <coughs> um, otherwise, if you don't clean the inside, then it will have like germs and possibly get infected if you don't. But if you don't clean it in general, like if you don't clean it for like, if you don't clean it at all, then it will get like dirty and it will look a bit manky and like, um, could possibly get infected. Yeah. And also you might get a bit of snot sometimes, like if you're, if you're cold or something, even if it's like dry snot, like you might get a bit of snot sometimes. Um, I do sometimes because I had a cold on the last week of school and I think that this does something like in my system, but I'm, <coughs> I'm okay. <coughs> and then I just do it again, like again of one, and then just push it up and then go on the edge, give it a good old clean. And it does sort of feel funny when you're cleaning it with a cotton bud. Um, but it's alright, you get used to it. It's not that bad. 
And it sort of feels good once you've cleaned it, because it sort of feels like fresh and all that. If that makes any sense still. But um, yeah. Think about it. I might, because I can obviously you can like twist your stud around. Um, <clears throat> it's also good to like twist your stud <clears throat> once you've had it done, just to like, you know, I don't know. I think think it's good to like move it around a little bit once you've had it done. Um, with my stud, it sort of like goes in and down. I'm not sure if it goes, I'm not because it goes straight in, but I'm not sure if it goes straight down or sort of like the when it goes down. I'm not sure if it goes straight down or curved down. Uh, it's kind of weird, right? Uh, it sort of looks like a bit of snot up your nose. Sorry, I'm trying to look in the mirror when I'm doing this. But basically, that, you guys can see that, that is in the way I said. Yeah. So, you have a bit of snot, snot there. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah. But that's the nose. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically how I clean my nose. Just some salt that you put on your food. I currently have this Saxo Core Sea Salt 100% natural for cooking and grinding. And then just some of the salt from when I had my trays done. Cotton buds, hot water from the kettle. Um, and then just mix it with a teaspoon. And yeah, and then just clean your nose with the cotton bud, mix with the water, and you're good. <coughs> and at night, sorry I keep coughing by the way, guys. At night, um, because, partly because I'm clumsy, and partly because I want to keep it, keep it, like, protected, and I don't want to, like, rip it out or anything, but at night, before I fall, before I go to sleep, um, I get micropore tape, and put micropore tape on my nose, <coughs> like, over the stud, just so, like, I don't pull it out, or, like, rip it out, or catch it, or anything like that, because I don't want it to, like, get caught, or rip out, or whatever. Um, but when I do a bit, but I will be doing a video, like more in detail about when I was piercing and like my experience, how it felt, how it feels now and maybe more about how I look after it um, and I will mention micropore tape in that video and but yeah so the ingredients for this any type of salt, so that's a coarse sea salt in my case hot water from the kettle, cotton buds and I just use this mix in this salt from when I had it done and a teaspoon. Um, then yeah, you're set up. So that's how I look. How, like basically clean my nose, and I was gonna say I hope you guys enjoyed, but I don't know if you guys did enjoy this. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Comment, rate, subscribe, share, all that jazz. And I will have things in the description like social media and like bits and bobs. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye.